Welcome, my friend. I have a beautiful morning vinyasa flow to start your day with grace and gratitude. I invite you to embody grace through the flow of your movement, the flow of your breath, as you mindfully link your breath with each movement. Take this opportunity to practice grace by embracing the feedback your body provides you as we breathe and flow through the sensations that arise in strengthening and balancing poses throughout the practice. We're playing with ease and practicing grace. I'll join you seated on the mat. your comfortable cross-leg seated position, sitting up nice and tall, your eyes gently closed. Begin to draw your attention to the flow of your breath. Becoming attuned to your inhalations and your exhalations. In and out breath flowing with ease. Take this moment to set an intention to explore grace through the flow of our practice in whatever way that means to you. Go ahead and bat those beautiful eyes open. We'll make our way to hands and knees. We'll line our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hip points. Tops of feet released to the mat. And then just flow through a few feel-good cat cows on your own. Our first opportunity to mindfully link our breath with each movement. To practice grace by embracing the feedback your body provides you. So veering off from your typical cat cow if that's what your body is telling you. Slow and mindful movement. Last one. Find your neutral spine. Clarify your foundation. And we'll extend your right solo foot to the sky. Now as you lift your foot to the sky, lift your heart. So we're coming into a cow pose variation with that leg extended. And on the exhale, step it through. Right foot near your right thumb, low lunge. Lift your heart. And on the next in breath, we'll cartwheel your right arm back, coming back to your thigh. Left arm circles up and over. Then fan your top arm down, opening your arms wide to side into a twist. Then on your inhale, sweep that right arm up to the sky, coming into a low lunge. Reach those fingertips back. And let's take a side body stretch. So sweep your right hand down. Left fingertips reach up and over. Let's breathe in, circle your fingertips up, lift up. Exhale, lower your hands to frame your front foot. Breathe in, lift, reach your heart center forward. Exhale, fold, and then we'll step back, bringing both knees to the mat, coming into a modified plank pose. On your exhale, slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Breathe in, wave your spine, reach your heart center forward, and baby cobra, exhale, fold. 
gonna press your sits bones back to your heels coming into child's pose you can bring your knees as wide as the mat melt your torso down through center and bring those palms to kiss taking a moment of gratitude calling to mind what you're grateful for about your home Turn your palms to the mat at shoulder distance. Let's breathe in. Exhale, round forward, coming up into cat pose. And make your way to tabletop. So go ahead and clarify your foundation. Then we'll extend your left foot up to the sky. Reach it up, lift that heart, back bend. On your exhale, step your foot forward, left foot near your left thumb, low lunge. Let's cartwheel your left arm back, Towards your thigh, right arm reaches up and back. Beautiful. Then from here, we'll fan your arms wide side to side, coming into a twist to the left side. Good. Then let's breathe in to sweep your fingertips up to the sky, coming into your low lunge. And we'll take that side body stretch, sweep your left arm down, right arm reaches up and over towards the left side. Beautiful, my friend. Let's breathe in, reach up, reach those fingertips back and exhale, lower hands to frame your front foot. Breathe in, lift your heart, sink those hips. Then we'll step your left foot back, coming into our modified plank pose once more and slowly lower yourself all the way to the mat. Then to this time, let's peel and lift your body up into a high cobra. Exhale, melt forward. Let's press yourself back. Bring your hips to your heels, or your torso through center, coming into a child's pose. Crown your forehead to the earth. Hands come into prayer. Eyes gently close and just draw your attention inward. We'll check in with our intention to explore grace to the flow of your practice in whatever way that means to you. So what way has that meant to you so far? With your palms kissing, go ahead and call to mind what you're grateful for about your body. Let's return your palms to the mat at hip distance. Tuck those back toes and lift your hips up into a downward facing dog. Let's lengthen your tailbone towards the sky. Chest yearns through center, sternum falling towards the mat. Fingertips are spread wide, pressing down through your knuckles and your fingertips to take any pressure off your wrists. And sink those heels towards the earth. And from here, go ahead and take a slow rock, a slow sway of your hips side to side, just feeling it out. Connecting your breath with the movement. Find stillness at center, and then step or hop to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Let's breathe in, lift halfway, finding that beautiful long spine of yours. Exhale, wave, melt chest to thighs. Big beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips down and round and up. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart center. Breathing in intentions of grace. And exhalation, releasing and letting go. Let's take a big breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky. We'll exhale into a twist to the left side, arms reach side to side. Breathe in, circle up to center. Exhale, twist and open to the right side. Breathe in, lift up to center. And on your exhale, we're gonna fold and release. Arms sweep down, and then we'll sweep your arms right back up. And exhale into a twist to the left. Breathe and sweep up. Exhale, twist to the right. Breathe and sweep up. Exhale, fold and release forward. Breathe and sweep back up. Exhale, twist to the left. Breathe and sweep up. Exhale, twist to the right. 
Breathe in, sweep up. Exhale, hinge and release forward. And let those arms dangle and sway down, down, down. Take a generous bend in your knees. Tuck chin to chest and slowly roll up. Then we'll breathe in, circle our arms up to the sky. As you draw your right knee up and in towards your chest, let's explore grace through our balance. From here, we're going to begin to lean our torso forward as we extend our leg back, coming into Warrior Three Pose. What's grace feel like in your body? Then lower your back toes to the mat. Reach those fingertips up to the sky. This flow will look familiar. On your exhale, take a twist to the left side. Then lower your back hand to your thigh. Right arm sweeps up and back. Beautiful. Let's fan your arms wide side to side into that twist to the left side. Breathe and sweep up, high lunge. And take that side body stretch, left arm lowers down, right arm circles up and over. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, lower hands to frame your front foot. Breathe in, wave, lifting your spine, lifting your heart. And we'll bend into your back knee to step your back foot to meet your front for forward fold. Breathe and lift halfway, exhale, release. Big beautiful breath and sweeping your fingertips up to the sky, palms kiss and lower prayer to heart center. Let's take that same sequence to the second side. Breathe and sweep your fingertips up to the sky. This time we'll exhale, twist to your right side to start. Breathe and lift up to center. Exhale to the left, exhaling at that navel. Breathe and sweep up and exhale, fold forward. Breathe and right back up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up to center, exhalation to the left. Breathe and sweep up and fold forward and sweep back up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up, exhale to the left. Breathe and sweep up, big breath in. And on exhale, hinge forward and let your arms dangle, releasing, letting go. Generous bend in your knees, tuck your chin to your chest and roll up. Breathe in, sweeping fingertips up to the sky, drawing the left knee in towards your chest this time. Finding grace throughout balancing poses. And we'll begin to hinge forward as you extend your left leg back, coming into our warrior three pose. Beautiful. And then we'll lower that back leg to the mat with control. High lunge. Exhale at your navel, twist and open to the right side. Lower your right hand back to your thigh, left arm sweeps up and back. Then fan your arms wide side to side into the twist. Back arm sweeps up, high lunge. Side body stretch, right arm sweeps down, left arm reaches up and over to the right side. Good, breathe and sweep up to center. Exhale, lower hands to frame your foot. Breathe in, lift and lengthen your spine, heart shines. And we'll step your front foot back. Take your flow, exhale, chaturanga. Breathe in, upward facing dog. And then we'll press and lift those hips up to downward facing dog. Lower your knees to the mat. Coming into our wide knees, child's pose. Big toes kiss, knees as wide as the mat. Palms kiss. Closing those eyes. Noticing the rhythm of your breath. Your heartbeat. Taking our moment of gratitude, calling to mind what you're grateful for about mother nature. and release your palms to the mat at shoulder distance. Breathe in, and on your exhale, round forward, coming into cat pose. I'm gonna bring those knees into hip distance. Breathe in, lower your belly, lift your heart for cow, and sit your feet off to the side, and bring your legs out in front of you. Soles of feet to the mat, grasp along the back of your thighs, breathe in, lift your heart, 
And exhale, round back, lowering yourself all the way to the mat. Go ahead and hug those knees into your chest, giving yourself a hug. I'm going to move into a core check-in. So while these poses may not be easy, this is a great opportunity to explore grace. Remember to keep breathing through all the sensations that arise, playing with ease, practicing grace. Let's extend your right leg out long, left knee hugs in towards your chest. Reach your arms down alongside your body, palms face up, gaze towards your toes. Good, and let's switch, extend your left leg long, drawing your right knee in towards your chest. And switch again, and switch. We're gonna continue this on your own. We're breathing in upon the switch, and we're exhaling as we draw your knee in towards your chest and the extended leg lowers. Good. We're going to be doing this for about a minute. So embrace the feedback of your body, finding your flow, your rhythm, as you breathe and flow through the sensations that arise. Staying deeply connected, not checking out. Stay present here in this moment into the sensations of your body, feeling all that it is. Last one. Let's draw both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself another hug. Release your head to the mat and just take a slow rock side to side, massaging into the space of your back. Take one hand to each knee and begin to draw your knees in circles. Each knee is going in their own circle, further massaging into that low back. Go ahead and switch directions. Taking a moment to release and let go. Settle into stillness at center. And we'll extend those legs out long. Feet splaying open, letting go. Arms at your side, taking up as much space as you'd like. Let's take a deep breath in through your nose, feeling your body expand and rise. And a long, slow, complete exhalation, actively relaxing your entire body, letting go. Our time in Shavasana provides us an opportunity to express grace and gratitude. Feel yourself supported by the earth. Notice your belly rise and fall. With each breath and each moment here in Shavasana, you are filling up with the life force of prana, becoming part of the flow. Surrender and Wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring one solo foot to the mat, and then the other. Wrap your arms around once more, giving yourself one final hug, another moment of gratitude, a big thank you to yourself. And then release and roll over to the right side. Let's take a deeply nourishing breath in through your nose. Long, slow, complete exhalation out your nose. And with your eyes closed and attention inward, make your way to that comfortable cross like seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, hands relax wherever is comfortable. We'll bring hands to prayer at heart center. 
And we set the intention at the start of the practice to explore grace through the flow of our practice. What did your exploration share with you? So instead of holding yourself to an external standard of what grace is, rather think of this experience because grace is unique to each and every one of us. There is no one way or one form. So whatever you uncovered about grace today is perfectly perfect for you. Let's go and call to mind one person that you're grateful for in your life. And if you'd like, you may take this moment to send the gift of love and light to them. Breathe in, raising prayer to your third eye. Exhale, bow your head to your heart. Namaste. Carry this grace and gratitude with you off the mat and into your everyday continuing to refine your intention to practice grace internally as well as with all the beings around you. Comment below and let me know if this practice resonated with you. Throw the video some love with a thumbs up and throw our channel some love by subscribing if you haven't already. Flow through your day with grace and gratitude. I'll see you on the mat again soon, my friend.